Okay, we're gonna have uh, add another measurement to our data taker. In this case, it's going to be current loop. Now I've got a, a process meter that's providing a, a loop. So we've got 24 volts on this and I've uh, connected it between uh, just plus or minus here on, and I'm going to plug it into channel four and it's sitting there and that's a 100 ohm resistor. So now I need to again click on the plus beside the schedule and I need to add current. In this case, I'm going to add a current loop. Now, when it's current loop, it measures between zero and 100%. When you're measuring current, you have to scale it between four to 20 milliamps. Now, the type of wiring in this instance, this is the wiring that I've chosen here because all of these bits are being supplied by the, the actual calibrator. Now, you can, if you notice, you can use an internal 100 ohm resistor built into the logger with these measurements. However, um, when the logger is making a measurement, it connects its 100 ohm resistor up and then depowers the instrument. So, it, in other words, it breaks the loop. So, if you're monitoring um, a, a current loop which is connected to a control system, that won't be any good. Or if you've got a transducer that doesn't like being powered up and powered down for a measurement. And a lot of the modern transducers don't like that very much. So, we when we're using current loop, we'll tend to need a 100 ohm resistor anyway. So here's there, that's the wiring and we're gonna call it up, we've wired it up to channel four and I'm gonna call it current loop. C CL4 and we create that. And again, we apply it to the logger and it warns us that there's data already in the logger, it's gonna be wiped out. And when we come across here and have a look at the logger, we can scroll up uh, to oh, CL4. We're just waiting for that to go. There it is. And you can see it's 12, 25, 24.9. Uh, it's now at zero. Um, there we are, 24, 25, 24.9, 50%, etc. So, um, that's it measuring current loop. Thank you very much.